Hi everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to the Heffy Doodle YouTube channel. I've used the cutest of cute little elephants from the Elephant of Surprise in this card and I've done a really cool little um, water droplet effect which I'll show you how to do later on. So I'm starting the card by stamping out, actually I'm using the bath from the Rubber Dub lawn fawn set and I'm just going to stamp a mask as well because I want obviously to stamp the little elephant so he looks like he's standing in the bath or the shower. I'm just popping that mask over the top of the bath and then I'm going to use my cute little elephant and position him in there. I've put him up slightly higher because I want to put bubbles in the bath too so I just needed that little bit of space um, for the bubbles to go. And now I'm stamping the shower head part as well. And it doesn't quite join up with the bath, but I'll show you how to fix that in a second. So again, stamping in Memento. I'm using my white gel pen just to cover over that little line across the bottom. And then I'm going to use my Copic Multi-Liner to join it up to the bath. And can hardly tell it's been done and also the bubbles are going to go over the top of that anyway so um, don't worry too much if it's not perfect but just removing my masks now I'm going to just color in with my cool grays for the bathtub and I've used cool grays on the bathtub and the shower head and then warm grays on the elephant and same cool greys is what I always really use. <laughs> I pretty much use C1, C3, C5 and C9. And I didn't bring any C C9 into this one because I didn't want the tub to look too dark. So I think the darkest I went was the C5. Um, and sometimes I use a bit of C7 as well. So... I just didn't, yeah, didn't want it to look too dark. And then I actually took some colour away from the bath by using my C00 in the end. I've stamped out the little duck and the uh, bubble bath as well and also the bubbles on some vellum. So I stamped those in first some Mark ink and white embossed them on the vellum and then I'm just going to fussy cut them out. And I had to fussy cut these images. I don't actually have the dies um, for that lawn fawn set. So... I've got the dies for my Heffy Doodle set, which is great. Um, and I'm just trimming those bubbles down. And that's where I'm going to put them once I've coloured the elephant in. So now I've coloured all those other parts in and I'm going to stick on the little bubbles and also the, the duck and the shampoo bottle. And I'm also going to trim out that image itself, which... I did quite quite easily, quite like those, not too difficult, the cutting involved there. I'm just going to stick those bits on. And this is going to be the front part of the card. So I've used an oval uh, die and I'm just going to cut an oval in a piece of card as well as a piece of pattern paper. And the reason why is that just the pattern paper just needed a bit of a bit more firmness to it. So I've just stuck it on, on the piece of white card just so it's a bit firmer. And then my little elephant's going to go in the oval like that. And so I stuck the elephant down in the right spot. And I wanted to make um, like an acetate. I wanted to actually make some water come out of the shower head. And I wanted to put that on acetate. So I'm just cutting um, just half of that sort of I guess uh, tape off the 3D foam on each side. Because I wanted somewhere for that. I want an acetate panel down the center to slide and I needed something slippery for it to slide on. So I've just kept half of the tape on the 3D foam and then on the outside part where it's sticky, where I've removed the, um, the backing sort of piece, I'm just putting on some more 3D foam so that my front oval panel can sit up a little bit. So there's a gap almost for the acetate to slide in if you like like that. So it slides quite well on that... Um, on that 3D foam that I haven't taken the backing piece off. And actually I just rounded the corners on each of the, uh, on that piece of acetate so that it slid that little bit better and didn't catch on anything. And then I'm just going to stick that front panel on. You don't actually have to make this as a slider card if you don't want to go through that hassle. You can just put a piece of 
acetate over the top and then put your front oval panel on top of that. Um, I just thought it would be a bit fun if you could lift up the, um, the water droplets and see the elephant underneath. But of course you don't have to do that, you can go either way. And then I've used my glossy accents and I actually saw this on a Facebook group. A, a lady made a card um, and I will link her name down below. Um, and she put raindrops on the acetate window, which looked really cute. And I thought oh, that'd look great as a shower, water coming out of the shower. So, and when it dries, it just looks fabulous. I also stamped out the Your Elephantastic in uh, Versamark ink on white, on black card, sorry, and white embossed it. So that finished off with the sentiment. Here's some more videos that you might enjoy watching and thanks so much for joining us again and I'll see you again next time.